Heat and Park has existed in some farms since the Middle Ages. In 1684, the park, through the marriage, became property of the Egerton family. In 1772, the Harvey Street Stay was built, designed by James Watt, a young architect who was commissioned to build the Eg Egerton family country hall. The hall was built in phases, and the majority of the project was completed in 1789. The hall itself is sprayed and lifted, and it has been since the 1950s. The rooms inside include a music room, library, and entrance hall. During the expansion of the free lines of error, in the 19th century builders had to stop short of Heaton Park as the current law didn't want to have a train line running through it. Compromises met when it was decided to have the train run through the tunnel underneath the, the far corner of the park. This line is now used by the Metrolink. With over 600 acres of land, the park was the home of provider for the farmwork with livestock and a farm. It is also a place for families to relax, including ponds, gardens and horse raiding tracks, where the lake is today. The park and hall went through many changes during the years that the Egerton family owned it. An orangery was added in 1823 at the east wing of the house, and is thought to have been added for the second Earl's wife to grow plants in. The temple, built in 1800, was a further addition to the park added by the family. Noted as being the highest point in Manchester, the bell tower has far-reaching views across the city. During the Second World War, small prehab housing estates and school were set up at the south end of the park to the house the public who did not have a place to live at the time. They were all demolished in 1916. The haha -ha wall was in place in front of all the houses within the park. The use of this type of wall is to keep the grazing cattle which were important to the grounds upkeep from wandering onto the former lands. The way the haha -ha is designed means that it can't see in the from the house. The tower house was added to the park in 1803 as a decorative feature that can be seen from the house. In 2004, after being renovated, the tower house was given to the Manchester Beekeeping Association. Smithy Lodge, built by Lewis Watt, is an unusual octagonal building designed as a feature to be seen from the main house. The lodge also doubled as the lodge keeper's home. Smithy Lodge is now available for holiday lets after being renovated. In 1902, the house was put up for sale by Lord Wilton. This is all the formation of the pressure group which was formed to stop the park being turned into a housing estate. The pressure group worked and the park was bought by Manchester Corporation for £230,000. In 1900. Manchester Corporation had saved the park and the hall, but they had not agreed to buy any furniture or, con or contents of the hall, which led to them being sold at auction. Being bought by the council led to gradual changes being made to the hall into a public space. Cafes and public areas such as play areas were added and parts of the park were dramatically changed from the original plans to fit with the needs of the public at the time, such as the addition of bowling greens and the formal gardens in front of the house. Shortly after the purpose of the park by the council, the local tramway was extended into the park and the first tram arrived in 1903, bringing visitors from Manchester. an extension to the Boating Lake, which possible plans to extend the track further in the future. The Championship Standard Golf Course stands at the lower end of the park. 
Dennis Smith got him. Of course, it's written in their part. Chalk in that, he's got him. Of course, it's a the five three. That's what. The colonnade on the lake is a feature that was added to the park after the purchase by Manchester Corporation. The colonnade is the original front facade to the old Manchester Town Hall, which stood on King Street. In 1912, when the old town hall was demolished, the colonnade was rebuilt in Heaton Park. The BT Tower was added to the park in the 1970s. Tower 5 is a large portion of communications from Manchester. It is only one of seven concrete towers in, in England. The Heaton Park Reservoir is a large gravity fed reservoir carrying up to 100 million gallons per day. The reservoir is fed by an aqueduct leading from the Lake District. The Grand Lodge, commissioned in 1807, was designed again by Lewis Watt. The lodge was built as an impressive entrance to the park, leading to the longest carriage drive to the house. The lodge has two storeys of accommodation and a cellar. In the early 2000s, the park underwent change on a massive scale, which included landscaping and renovation of the buildings that had previously fallen into disrepair. The regeneration cost around £10 million and was funded by Manchester City Council and the Heritage Lottery Fund.